Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video for Cyberpunk 2077. In this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate any item in the game. Now, of course, you can duplicate any item or almost any item in the game. There is a slight catch here with what items you can duplicate. Uh, and one item you cannot duplicate is Skippy the Gun. Now, that is because it is a quest item and it does not show up in your inventory when you do access a merchant. That is the one catch. The item must show up in the uh, inventory or your inventory when you access a merchant. So, what we're going to need to do for this is we're going to go to one of these uh, vending machines over here that you sell your things for. And over here is where we will be duplicating items that we have in our inventory. We're going to be duping items as well as stacks of items. You can do that as well. It is limited by the amount of money that you do have so do keep that in mind so first things first we're going to save here just because that is a good practice sometimes these games do or these dupes can break a game so we're gonna access the um inventory of that thing so you can pretty much do by any of these stations uh we're gonna go into it we are going to sell the items that we want to dupe so what I want to do is I want to dupe a legendary weapon. We're going to be doing that. So as you can see, I've got two legendary overtures, which is basically kind of difficult to get. We've got loads of these paintings, so you can duplicate those as well. We're going to dupe some of these components and things like that. Now, at this level, I should not have all of these things that you will be seeing. I can duplicate loads of things. I've got legendary um, materials that we can craft with. We're having a look at what to do. So I could probably dupe that if I wanted to. It doesn't have a lot of armor. So let's have a look over here. We're going to do the overture because why not? Now do bear in mind that when you do buy it back, it will cost a decent amount. So you have to be careful as to how much it costs and how much money you have as well. As I said, it is dependent on that. So we're going to put one of these in. And we'll put one of these in and let's put some of that in there as well as you can see i've got loads of legendary components over there as i said really i shouldn't have these at this level in the game but that is because i have duped overture and then pretty much broken it down for its components so we'll see about that we'll do stacks as well you, you can actually dupe stacks what you have to be careful with is your funds so some items when you put them in here when you buy them back they cost a heck of a lot more so we'll do some of that as well and can we do that maybe do that as well why not let's have a look what else can i do here so you can duplicate the components uh we're gonna do some stacks maybe let's have a look at the moment i'm doing one of each with the stacks, you do get the slider every time you dupe, so you can dupe as many as you can. I recommend if you're going to go for a stack that you find what is uh, the number for the stack compared to what money you have that you can uh, dupe without overblowing your budget. That is the thing. So you want to do that once or two, uh, uh, about three, four times. You can duplicate ammunition and stuff in here as well it works so we'll do some of that stuff as well i think we're done now the next step to this is to then exit this particular drop point and what we're going to do is we're going to press the pause menu button and the axis drop point button at the same time that will glitch out this drop point to a point where it doesn't know what to do whether to pause the menu or access the drop point it'll do both uh, we'll get a specific window so i'll show you that and this is what it looks like so we've got this window where as you can see it is kind of zoomed in it is transparent we can see the background so it does a bit of both and at this point we can actually duplicate these items so this is what you do with stacks if you want to duplicate those as you can see it'll cost fifty-two thousand eddies to get them back uh, now we just got what we put in back so you can do this a couple of times just to duplicate that amount we'll do this as well so that's a 46,000 cost right there with single items you can just click on them 
multiple times to duplicate them as you can see here that's how i got loads of those paintings we'll do some of this some more you know these are items that are commonly used but this is how the duping system works so we're going to do the overture as well because you can break those down i can show you how many of them i'll be getting so again with stacks you do the slider now with weapons and uh specifically ammo it is a bit derpy because it doesn't always work well so that's one thing to look out for it doesn't always uh dupe it so that's one item i found to be a bit more difficult but that's fine because we'll have plenty of items in our inventory to actually craft the ammunition we'll do some of these uh we'll do a couple more of these just because we'll do these as well now of course if you have stacks of uh components you can do that with the higher tier components bear in mind that they will cost a lot of money so you will have to have a couple of million uh eddies in your inventory to be able to do big stacks so the better the quality on the component the more money it will cost per stack so it's easier to also do it with one item as you do seem to get a bit of a discount when you dupe i'm not really quite sure how that works but mathematically speaking you actually get more duped items with smaller stacks we'll do that and why not you know we're just gonna go crazy here we're gonna dupe some of, of this gun again we'll do overture just because just to kind of show you i'm just gonna go crazy with it now normally at this point i don't really need to dupe it i just want to fill up my inventory with overture just to show you uh how crazy this is now of course with that said and done that means i'm also spending money you're not seeing that happen here but i am spending money out of my budget but because I have duped the painting, which is very valuable, I can sell loads of paintings, get my money back, exit the drop point, then enter the or access the drop point again and buy them for next to nothing back. So at the end of the day, you are not really wasting your money. So I'll show you that as well. Uh, I probably have emptied out my inventory of money. Uh, yeah, so I've lost half of the money that I've got. So let's have a look here. At what I've duped. And we want to go to weapons. Look at all this. This is a lot of weapons that I've duplicated. As you can see, I'm also overweight. So I have pretty much uh, over encumbered myself with just this weapon. Now I can break these down for parts. You can't dupe Skippy. So quite important there. We've got all of these over here that we've just duped right now. We're going to go into other things. You can dupe clothing as well if you want to do that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, other items that we duped further down when we scroll. So let's have a look. Where would they be? There we go. So we've duped the components right there. We've duped those. So yeah, as you can see, that's how it works now. As you can tell, we've lost a lot of money out of this, but there's no problem. We have loads of those paintings. A painting sells for 4000 per painting. So what you now need to do is go into this machine. We'll access it. Um, we're going to go over here, scroll down to where the paintings are eventually. Yeah, keep going. I think, okay. I've got loads of things. All right, so just showing you the numbers of the things that I've duped. Now, this is how many I've got. This is what I could get with it. So we need to sort of play around with the slider until we get the sum that the drop point has and we can get all our money back in one go. So that'll do that. Perfect. We've now emptied out the drop point of all money. I can get my paintings back by accessing, by exiting and accessing the drop point again, and we buy them back for next to nothing. So that's pretty much how you do it. You don't really waste your money. You'll have to have some money, so bear that in mind when you are duping legendary items. They will cost a lot to buy back, and of course, the game will sort of kind of keep track of costs. Uh, although, to be fairly honest, you'll buy them back at... Um, a bit of a reduced price compared to if you just simply access the drop point. I don't really get how that works, 
but yeah that, that just allows you to do more than you would normally be able to do but that's pretty much it with regards to duping items in the game so on consoles basically just press the pause menu or the button associated with the pause menu and then the button associated with accessing the drop point both at the same time it may take a couple of attempts but you will know you got it right when you get the menu that is clear and you can see the background from that point forward you can then duplicate anything that you've put into the drop point with that being said and done that is pretty much it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content to the channel links to this you can find down below in the video's description and until next time stay safe folks